Alright, this is Dark Bones, and welcome back to Let's Play Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. This is part two. Let's go to Ancient Rome, which is actually uh, one of the areas where I have some of my uh, best and worst memories. This level right here, I spent so, so much time on this as a kid. Wrong button again, jeez. But yeah, there's this one part, I'll tell you when I get to it, I had so much trouble with as a kid. I really hope I don't have trouble now with that. I usually don't. Like, you know, late, when I got better at the game, I usually didn't. I mean, and I died right off the bat there really stupidly, but whatever. I mean, the jumps in the beginning of this level... Actually, all through this level, the jumps are actually <laughs> pretty difficult if you're only six years old, and uh, if you're trying to talk while doing these, obviously. I had so much trouble with these jumps, especially one coming up where I'll show you, and uh, I want to using all my lives in a row. It's going to be embarrassing. But yeah, so many bad memories, and so many good memories. Okay, a good memory that I can think of. And this is probably one of the uh, instances of the better parts of my childhood. Where, um... So I was little, I got this game on, on my birthday. I got to this level, I'm like, I told my mom, like, Oh, this, this part is just so hard, I'm, I'm so frustrated at this. And, um... My mom says, like, Well, okay, here's some motivation. You, you beat this level, you get a piece of cake. And so I said, okay, th this is the part coming up soon, but I'll go ahead and finish the story. So, yeah, I, I sat at the game for hours, replaying this level over and over. I did get that cake. Yeah, and that's one of the instances of my mom being more awesome. Sometimes she's awesome, sometimes she's not. She was awesome that day. This part! Get to timer double jumps just right in this part. Or you're screwed up. Jump just right. Pretty precise. Oh, I thought I was done. Apparently there's a little bit more. I really hope I don't screw up. But, yeah, at least the game... At, oh, screwed up. Shouldn't have got that pot or whatever. That sounded kind of wrong. But whatever. Good luck getting all those Scooby Snacks in a row, by the way. Yeah, at least the game has the decency... To give us a check, well not us, me a checkpoint, right before the difficult part starts. You're kidding me! Ugh, oh, and yeah, that actually happened to me. When I was six before, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna stomp on this pot. And then I get hit into the pit behind me. Yeah, when you slide around, you get hit. Especially with Shaggy, I think he slides a little bit more, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure they actually control the exact same though, and I'm just being a baby. But, uh, yeah, that's so annoying, the knockback. I hate knockback in games. Because I want to send you spiraling into pits. So annoying. Okay, so from here on out, we're pretty much in the clear. You cannot kill these, um, gladiators, by the way. They're invincible. Even if you hit them from the side, that they're not guarded by the shield, which is kind of strange. Just gonna run past these guys. They are not worth my pies. Pie. Yeah, uh, that guy's not really a threat. You think he would be? He looks awful intimidating, almost boss material. But he's not. Just, just throw a pie at him before you can get him. Before he can even get to, he's too slow to be a threat. I think. It, okay, maybe not. Maybe it's not yet. Yeah, apparently sometimes the characters actually say something. Die. I think it happens once you get to that platform. But uh, if you're wondering, uh, if you, well, I mean, I'm wondering if you, if uh, it's noticeable in the video, but uh. I'm not recording with my uh, headset on, so uh, hopefully the microphone can catch a little bit of the game audio. That's the best I'm probably going to be able to get. 
And it's probably worth the extra time to see if, yep, there's a hamburger. See? Not a big problem. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be having this much trouble with this level. But yeah, maybe I'm just jinxed from my childhood. I was always so terrible at this level. Ugh! I wanted to try to get a world per video, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to in world 2 at least. But, uh... Yes, yeah, so anyway, um, the uh, Japan area and the Rome area, they're probably the, m the more creative areas in the game. Because the next area is just an ice world. It's supposed to be the Arctic. So it's not as creative, obviously. Aren't you going to say it, Shaggy? Come on. Uh, maybe I screwed it up by dying that first time? Here it is. Well, I didn't say it was a funny quote. I mean, not really a quote that wasn't really in the movie. I'm pretty sure he said that differently in the movie. But whatever. Anyway, I... Oh, you! Uh... I thought I overshot that and wound up not overshooting it. Okay, you are worth a pie. You are so terribly, terribly placed. What? How did I... Uh, why am I doing so badly at this? I do not want to replay this level. Okay. I'm going to have to really play it safe. I've lost about nine lives on this level, from the looks of it. May have been eight. I don't know how the life counter works in this game. Oh, come on! The checkpoint was right there! I had one last jump! What? You! Oh! Thanks a lot for putting me on my last life, or next to last, depending on how the lives are counted in this game. I don't remember. It's been forever. I think there's a zero to life. Oh, no. I'm not doing that. No, no. Don't oh, come on! I don't want to do this level again. No, you. Eleven lives. Eleven lives! I am fifteen years old, and I cannot beat level four of Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase with eleven lives. Now, putting that into perspective, think how terrible this was for me as a six-year-old. My gosh, this level is terrible. Terrible. I mean, I'd be a little bit better at this if I could use an actual controller. And if I was used to the controls again. But jeez Louise, this is a difficulty spike. Especially when you do not have... That can count. Especially when you don't have the most control over your jumps. You know what? It's not even worth it anymore. I might as well just suicide. Uh, what? Oh my goodness. I have no clue why. It's really strange, but, uh... I mean, I know they, uh... Don't control differently or anything. But I always do so, so terribly with Shaggy. I mean, sure, his levels are generally harder, for whatever reason. I don't know why. But whatever. I, mean, I don't know. I just have trouble. So now I have two tries. 
to make these jumps. And what I'm going to do when I get back to that point that I was at. That's another really terrible jump. Yes, that thing collapsed if you didn't notice. So if you don't run off that fast... Ooh, I actually got all the Scooby Snacks in one set of jumps. What do you know? Maybe I'm more skillless than I think. Maybe the secret is just doubting myself. And now that I'm confident in myself, I'm going to start sucking again. Okay, just run past the gladiators. The pots are not worth it. Unless there's an extra life in any of those, which I doubt there is, it's not worth the risk. Checkpoint. Not that it means much, because I've got two lives left. Okay, so now I've really, really got to look out for the Scooby Snacks so I can at least get an extra try. You know, one extra try would be nice. I'm not going to go for those. They're too dangerously close to that gladiator. I couldn't seem to hit him with the pie. I mean, sure, I didn't try very hard, so, uh... What? Throw the pie! Throw the pie! Oh, man, why do I always hit the wrong button? Jeez Louise. I am not used to these controls yet. Doesn't help the con that the uh that controlling Shaggy and Scooby in this game, the controls are not the tightest of any game that I've ever played by any means. I mean, I'm better at controlling Sonic the Hedgehog than <laughs> this game, in all honesty. And um No, 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 no! Two tries left. Come on. If I can make it to that checkpoint, I'm home clear. What? One try! One try! No, no, no! No, no, no. Jump. I also just realized how awkward the... As if it's bad enough that the controls are awkward, the momentum is horrible! I mean, some of these jumps you can only make if you're fully running and perfectly timed your jumps, and it's nearly impossible on these platforms. Okay. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. This, this is the last jump. I'm pretty sure this is the last jump! Okay. Yes! Oh no, there's more? There's more of this? I was hoping I remembered this part, right? Dang it! I was hoping that this would not be as hard as I remembered it. My gosh! For level 4, this level's pretty merciless with these jumps. Okay, now it's over. If I die now, uh, <laughs> I'm never going to get good at this game. Yeah. Oh, I thought that forced you to listen to this, but whatever. Yeah, it's really obvious what you have to do here, but they tell you anyway. You have to outrun the gladiator in the chariot. How hard is that to figure out? I was six and figured this out without needing that help. I'm sorry. I mean, what else would you think? Did you have to, like, lure him out of there and run behind him? I don't know. But yeah, as long as you hold down, just hold down the entire time, he won't stand a chance. And now I'm pretty much at the end of the level. All I gotta do is... Oh no! Whoa! Yeah, they need to give you more camera room here. I almost fell in that pit. That would've been terrible. I would've had to do that whole part again. Yeah. That's, that's pretty merciless, actually. At least for level four. I mean, good grief! That's pretty sad for that early in the game. I mean, I could understand, like, maybe World 4 or so, because this game does get pretty difficult later on. 
But World 2? Oh well, at least that difficulty spike has hopefully got us ready for level 2 of this area. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this level is not nearly as hard as level 4. Which should give you an idea just how bad the difficulty curve is in this game. It almost always seems to go up on Shaggy's levels. The only exception is World 3, and yes, that's one of those change-ups I was talking about. It's kind of strange. Because usually it trades off between Shaggy, Scooby, Shaggy, Scooby. But yeah, the Ice World is pretty much the only Shaggy level that I've not noticed a huge difficulty spike. I mean, World 6 is kind of a difficulty spike, but not nearly, nearly as much as any of Shaggy's levels. Well, I mean, minus, of course, the uh, Third World, which I just mentioned, but whatever. Useless, pointless enemy is useless. Am I right, people? That is really only a threat if you are out of pies. The only threat. And actually, when I was little, I managed to kill one of those things, finally, with a butt stomp. Because I sat there all day trying to convince themselves the, the ground pound has to be useful. The ground pound has to be useful. They would not put a useless move in this game. Yeah, I found out really quick that uh, the ground pound in this game is utter garbage. Well, there's our first death for, from running out of health. Not the best death What? Uh, not the best death animation by any means that I've seen in a video game, even in the 64-bit era, but... Way, way not the worst. I've played a lot of garbage games. Honestly, that's not really a big nitpick of mine, the death animation. Because if you're any good at it at all... Yeah, see, those shields only protect them from one side, yet they're invincible. Lazy programmers are lazy. I mean, I guess that makes them more threatening... Kind of, you know, you can't kill them with anything. But still, I mean, then maybe a ground pound? I, I distinctly remember trying a ground pound and it's still not working. Besides, with the spiked helmets they're wearing, your first instinct wouldn't be ground pounding anyway. Why did I run into that? Whatever, I'll just tank it. Now, that one is actually a little bit better placed, because if you're not expecting it, it actually might, might hit you. And for World 2, an enemy that might hit you if you're being reckless, that's far more acceptable than those jumps from heck in the past area. The only thing in this game that I can think of off the top of my head that rivals that is World 6. And we'll deal with that piece of heck when we get to it. Oh my goodness. I am so bad at this game. Alright. So that ends, uh... That ends level 2 of World 2. And World 3, this boss, this is actually pretty easy. Once you know the pattern. Now see, you, you know with that first boss, it's easy to tell its pattern. Some of these bosses, it's not easy. In fact, most of the rest, if I recall, it's almost impossible to figure out their patterns without dying a few times. You know, if you've never played the game before. But, uh, once you learn their patterns, they're not hard by any means. I just hope I remember the pattern for this lion. Yes, you can tell th what the boss is, because the icon changes. So yes, yeah, spoilers, you're not fighting any gladiators, you're fighting a lion. Which, I guess, makes sense, actually. For, you know, like, ancient Greece, or, excuse me, I think this is Rome, but whatever. But still. I mean, I know lions are dangerous and ferocious. But I still feel it's a pretty anticlimactic boss for those pits we had to deal with. Which makes me wonder, did they even fully test the jumping or the pits in this game? Because some of those are pretty merciless for young kids. 
And uh, being a, a Scooby-Doo game, based off a Scooby-Doo cartoon that appeared on Cartoon Network, um, you know, what age group do you think this game is going to be geared towards? Um, yeah, kids. Sorry, but, uh, kids don't have the, kids don't normally have the patience to sit through those jumps. I mean, I lost probably 15 lives in that area. I mean, my goodness! I mean, I know I'm bad at this game, I'm using a controller, but still! Also, don't run out of highs. I'm pretty sure you can't kill the line with a butt stomp, so... Dear God, don't run out of pies, and you're better off just tanking those spears, by the way. Yeah, the line doesn't really get any harder, except for, in this phase, he actually starts targeting you, and actually starts chasing you. Now that I have one health- OH, GOOD GRIEF! I actually DIED?! I DIED?! Oh, Yeah, it shows I haven't played this game in forever. I actually died to this boss! And I knew how to beat him. Ugh. It really, really shows I have not played this game in a while. But look on the bright side. At least my least favorite area of this game is almost over. Thank goodness for that, right? I mean, jeez Louise. I wouldn't hate this area so bad. I'd actually probably would love this area. It's got wonderful music. It's it's got variety. It's pretty. It's got cool atmosphere. It's just so stupid chunks. My goodness. Why would anyone put that in level four? I can understand in a later level, just fine. At these like, you know, in the later levels. You've already mastered the game by that point. By the time you'd get to a level like that. You know, you'd master the controls. You'd be able to do that easily. But level four? Not to mention there haven't really been, there hasn't really been all that much platforming before that. I mean, there's barely any jumps in Japan. I mean, jeez Louise. Alright, so, uh, now I have enough health to pretty much tank all the remaining obstacles. So I'm pretty much good. And, well, I don't know, maybe not all of them. But as long as I don't get hit by the lion too much, I'm okay. Yeah, just run towards it at an angle and double jump. That's the strategy for a lot of the bosses in this game. Are there more spears? Yep, yeah, there's more spears! Yep. Tanked it all. One time I actually got through this boss without taking any health. But, uh, with a keyboard and me not playing this game since I was like six or seven, I'm definitely not going to be able to do that again. Alright, thank goodness that is over. I am going to save... Yes, overwrite that old game. We are done. We are done. And in the next episode, we get to go to the Arctic, which is actually one of my more favorite areas in this game. It's really cool. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I don't fail too epically at that. So, uh, yeah, tune in next time to see more Scooby-Doo in the Cyber.